A week into Russia's invasion of Ukraine, and the U.S. says as of now there are no specific nor credible cyber threats to the U.S. ABC 15 political reporter Mark Phillips says in Arizona, home to the nation's largest nuclear power plant, vigilance is the operative word. Arizona Public Service has 1.3 million customers in Arizona. The Palo Verde Nuclear Power Plant APS operates, also supplies electricity to Southern California, New Mexico, and El Paso. You need to be paying close attention to everything, and you need to be sharing information. Arizona Director of Homeland Security Tim Romer says there are no signs of a Russian-backed cyber attack on Arizona's infrastructure. Romer says state and federal partners are working very closely with the private sector. We need to be really on top of our game there because it could come from Russia, but it could come from another adversary thinking we're distracted by the escalation of this latest conflict. The Arizona Cyber Command Center tracks between 5 and 10 million threats in Arizona each month. Over the weekend, the FBI and CISA, the Cybersecurity Infrastructure Security Agency, published malware updates for states and companies like APS to help block attacks similar to what Russia is doing to Ukraine in the event they come. Mark Phillips, ABC 15, Arizona. Stay with us on ABC 15 for the very latest online and on air following these new developments from Ukraine. We'll have continuing coverage, of course, for you tonight at 10 and the very latest overnight, as always, tomorrow morning on ABC 15 Mornings.